It's bill filing season for Arkansas legislators, and some say it should be easier for some convicted felons to have access to guns. Our Andrew Epperson is live in Little Rock, and Andrew, it sounds to me like there's a bipartisan push for this. There seems to be bipartisan support from this. The representative who filed the bill is a Democrat, Vivian Flowers. And on the Senate side, Gary Stubblefield is a Republican. Now, if passed, these mirror bills in the House and Senate would make it much easier for some nonviolent convicted felons to regain their right to own a gun. Under current law, it takes special circumstances for that to happen. Now, the legislation would allow people to file a petition 10 years after the completion of their sentence. This would discharge, dismiss, and ultimately seal the felonies on the record. Flowers tells me she got the idea from a constituent who told her he wants to just hunt with his kids, but he can't despite being out of prison for nearly two decades now. If that person is still a threat, then maybe they should still be in prison. If we all agree that they shouldn't be in prison, then why would we continue to punish them in this way or with their vote or being able to move freely? Flowers says legislators worked with the Arkansas State Police, Prosecutors Association, and other parties on this bill. And she's confident it'll pass when the general session starts early next year. I reached out to incoming Governor Sarah Huckabee Sanders' communications team to see if she'd like to comment on this. They said she will not be commenting on it at this time. Live in Little Rock, Andrew Epperson, back to you.